All right. So here is my leftover from last time we were together. Uh, you can do this on Repolit if you don't have uh, Blue Jay installed on your machine. Uh, but this will be a little bit faster. So I'm going to use the Blue Jay. We talked a little bit last time about the addition operator. Just as a quick review, if I go like this, and I was to run this program right now, who can tell me what is going to get printed here? Mr. Baker, sir, can you tell me what's going to get printed? That's right. It's going to do this operation first, and that'll turn it into a string. Then it'll do this operation. It'll be a string and a number. It'll it concatenate everything, and it'll turn into 54 instead of what you want, probably. Let's run this puppy. You can see the answer comes out to 54. So if I want the operation to, if, the, if I want this plus operator to have precedence over this one, um let's get another volunteer going mr actor is absent mr Mitty, sir how would i override the left to right precedence okay so i just put some parentheses here and now you can see that you've got your um uh, the, the, the addition is actually taking place. So that was just a little review from you from last class. We're going to move on and let's try this one first. And does someone want to take a guess as to what's going to happen now? Ms. Mullen, what do you think? Take a guess. It's going to create a compiler error because subtraction is not allowed with strings. Subtraction, you have to have numbers. So even though the addition operator has two different meanings, it can mean concatenate when it's strings, and it can mean addition when it's numbers. The subtraction only has one meaning, and you have to use numbers. So this is OK. OK, that's all right. Let's show you that one. You can see that one works fine, right? Likewise, I can do this. I can do subtraction of uh, regular numbers. And that one works fine. But if I try to subtract something that's not a number, it will not work. So that's kind of important. Let's look at multiplication now. What do you think about this one? Mr. Burnett, look up here, sir. I'm trying to multiply these two strings together. Yes or no? Yeah. No. So once again, you can see it won't let you multiply anything other than a number. So let's try that. And this will work much better. So you can see that subtraction and multiplication work pretty much as you expect. So you can see here everything is working pretty much like you want what you want it to, okay? Now division uh, does not work. Division does not work like you expect. And I'm going to spend the majority of this lecture giving you division examples so you understand exactly what happens with division. Let's look at some easy examples. Let's look at some stuff that does work like you expect. So if I go 6 divided by 2, Mr. Diego, how much do you expect that to be? 3. So that one works like expected. Let me show you. So you see that one works fine. But then if we start getting into some combinations here like this, let's say I go uh, 3 out of 4 like that. Now in your math class, what answer would you expect here, Ms. Ishita? You would expect the 0.75. You're going to get an unexpected result here. The answer is coming out to be zero. So now I need to explain to you why the answer comes out zero. 
There are actually two types of division that Java does. One is called integer division, and the other is called decimal division. If you have a numerator that's an integer and a denominator that's an integer, it assumes you want integer division. So what it does is it creates an answer and keeps it an integer. In this case, you have 0.75. It does not round the answer. It simply throws away everything after the decimal point. It does an operation called truncation. Truncate means it just throws away all the digits after the decimal point so it doesn't round. So this comes out to 0 0.75. It throws away the 0.75, just keeps the zero. So that's why you're seeing a zero here. However, if I was to change one or both of these to decimal numbers, like if I did that, now you'll get the answer you're expecting. And you can see it's giving you the answer you're expecting now. So if this one is a decimal or this one is a decimal or they're both decimals, you can see you're getting the answer you want. Now, another way to get the answer you want is to turn these into a decimal number without using a decimal. You can tell the operator like this. You can use the cast operator and you can tell the cast operator that you want to turn this three into a decimal number like that. Okay, so let's look at that one. And you can see here it still works. Now, let me show you a common mistake that's made. This thing I'm gonna show you would be exactly the type of thing that they would throw on an AP exam or on a quiz, let's say on Thursday. Let's say I go like this. Turn to the person on your left or right and describe what would be the answer here. Is it Kevin? Is that you, Kevin? Kevin, can you guess what the answer will be here? That's correct, Kevin. Let's try it out. And you can see the answer comes out to 0, 0.0 because you wanted a decimal number and you might be like, well, what happened to the 0.75? You can see here that because of these parentheses, you did integer divided by integer. So it turned this into a zero like we showed before and then it only cast it to a decimal number afterwards. It's too late now, it's already a zero. So now if we go like this, let's see what happens. You can see it worked this time. What does that tell you about this operator versus this operator as in terms of which one has higher precedence? Which one has higher precedence, Miss Mullen? The, the cast operator here, turning it into a double, yes, it has higher precedence than here. Can you see that the PEMDAS for Java is gonna be a lot more complicated than what you learned in math? We're gonna learn that a different day. Try to understand that Java has a lot more operators in it than your math class. So the PEMDAS is like PEMDAS on steroids. It's like a huge thing, in fact, it's too big to memorize. We're just going to memorize pieces of it. But for now, you just remember that cast is a high precedence operator. But if you're confused by this, you can make sure that this happens first by putting in some added unnecessary parentheses to make sure that the reader understands that you're converting this to a decimal before you do the division. Let's look at some other examples now to make sure you understand this whole division thing. So let's look at this one. And discuss with your partner what you expect to see here.
Mr. Dominic, what would be your guess here, sir? It will be a decimal number. Sir, can you tell me in your, can you do it in your head, sir? Six divided by four? 1.5, very good, sir. Let's try and run this puppy. And you can see that the 1.5 comes out. What happens if I don't put the cast operator in here? Let's see. Uh, Mr. Gabe, what do you think is gonna happen this time, sir? One is correct. Let's try that out. You notice it doesn't round. It takes the 1.5, throws away the 0.5, and just keeps the one. I'll do one more with you. Like that. And let's see here, who have I not called on today? Mr. Brian, sir, what's this gonna come out to be? Sir, have I given it any reason to turn into a decimal? Take a look. So if I run this, you can see it doesn't turn into a decimal because neither of these are decimals. And so what I'm doing here is integer division. Integer divided by integer makes an integer. What would I have to do, Brian, to create a decimal division? Okay, to which one? Either one. So I could add a cast operator or I could put a decimal, that would work also. So let's first try it this way, like Brian has suggested with a cast operator. Brian, what answer am I gonna get now? That's right, it'll be 0.99 now. You can see that like that. There's one other way to do this, by the way, which I'll just show you. You can also do this. That will work also. Okay, it will turn this into a decimal number and then you'll do the division next. So let me show you that. That will also work. Okay. Okay, so we've talked about now the basic operators in Java. We've talked about the plus. We've talked about the subtraction. We've talked about the multiplication, the division, and we've talked about the, uh, the cast operator. I would like you to just very briefly for the next five minutes, go into the runestone and just make sure you've started your work on that. And then I'm gonna just look at my runestone to make sure that you're starting to make some progress and that you've signed up for the right course. And then after we're done with that, we're going to go next door and we're gonna start our dog lab.